My whole life been no parole. Babies at my door, peeking out the window, and I know they about to go. Know they about to come. Hey, what's up, yo, Tube? This is King Monye. I'm just gonna drop some jewels on your run time. A lot of us, you know what I'm saying? You ever heard the saying, don't play a hate, congratulate? Well, do that's mean just what it mean. It mean don't be a hater. And some of y'all don't know what hating is. Some of y'all hating don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? So I thought I'd break it down, the definition, and how we can prevent ourselves from being haters. You know what I'm saying? And why it's so important to learn to celebrate others. You know, number one, first, we got to recognize greatness before we can ever be great. You know what I'm saying? How are we going to be something that we don't know how to identify? Number two, by, by learning to celebrate others, it prevents us from having envy and hatred in our heart. Number, number three, we learn to respect others. You know what I'm saying? Before you can be respected, you want people to respect you, but you're not giving people respect in a proper way. You want people to honor you, but you don't honor those who deserve honor. And, 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 and number four, um, I'm going to tell you why it's good to celebrate others because it protects our values, the things we value, and it reaffirms the things that we value. So oftentimes we become obstacles to one another, and we are responsible. We're directly responsible for the condition of the community, yet we are unaware. That's right. I said we're responsible. Now, we're not responsible in the sense that we created the conditions but we are responsible when we fail to uphold our duties as a community. That's right. I, I believe that the maintenance of the community is a shared responsibility. And the safety of the community is a shared responsibility. And that means every member of the community can effectively do their part, if nothing else, if we just learn to celebrate the success of others. Not much. Just learn to congratulate. And, start, and don't be a player hater. You know what I'm saying? It's so important to the personal development that we learn how to recognize the greatness in others. When we recognize other people, along with their achievements or efforts, it becomes a habit to identify greatness. Now, if we become fully aware of the characteristics of a great person, a great leader, then only then can we become great leaders. Right? Now, rest assured that to observe something great alone will not make you great. You can see a lot of things. That don't mean you're going to become it. But when you are able to recognize something, then when you learn to confess it with your mouth by giving some words of praise, a congratulations or something like that, when, you, when we begin to do that and recognize that we're in the presence of something great, we're building a habit, a good habit. And like I was saying, we fail ourselves, and then we'll fail our community. We are when we whenever we're unable to give respect or give honor where honor is due, what happens is deep inside we become silent haters. We become haters. You know. Uh, whenever we fail to congratulate each other's success, whether it be minor or major, it's important to celebrate people who do good. It's important to recognize and say, hey man, I like what you're doing, keep doing what you're doing. It's important. Because uh, even if their beliefs are different than yours but they're still working to the betterment of the good. It's detrimental to the whole community that we learn to rid ourselves of criticizing others. We would tear a person down if they're not doing something we don't believe in or if they're doing it first. We tear them down and point out all their flaws, but we forget about all the things that they've done in order to contribute to the solution, to making the world a better place. And that's a hater. That's a hater. When all you focus on is a person's flaws, a person's failures, and you fail to look at everything that they've created, everything that they've inspired, everything that they've helped become more pure, right? Your methods, your ideas, and your beliefs are not always correct. And even if they are correct, sometimes it's not always appropriate. Recognize that. I said, you know what I'm saying? I said, your beliefs and your, your way is not always right. And even if it is, it's not always appropriate. Sometimes it's not the time and the place. One of the 48 laws of power, never outshine the master, which means sometimes you need to play your position. It's not always the appropriate time, right? It doesn't mean that truth doesn't be, it's not still the truth, 
but it's not your position sometimes. Sometimes let that person shine. Sometimes congratulate, support. Recognize that we all play an integral part. We're all in this together, man. And there's a time and a place where your method will be required. But work diligently to guard yourself against the envy and hatred. Give words of praise and encouragement sparingly. And don't be shysty and don't be stingy. So I'm going to ask one simple question. Who is doing something great right now that you need to celebrate? Okay? You need to find somebody. If there's nobody in your life that you can say, you know what, hey man, I like what you're doing, you're doing a good thing, then that means you're a hater. Because you not recognize, you have the inability to recognize greatness. I am King Manye. I was sent to inspire those who are great and sometimes tend to forget.